Student announcements. We will start with Connor Longley from Foxborough, Massachusetts, reporting on the sport of baseball. All right, well, the uh, boys had a rough go this week, dropping four games. On, uh, on Monday, we traveled to BBN, BBNN in Mass, and Connor McCarty took the mound. We ended up losing the game 3-2 to two with RBIs from Kenny and John Pierce. On Friday, we headed back to Mass to face a good Belmont Hill team. We grabbed a quick run in the top half before Belmont Hill put a nine spot up in the bottom. Uh, the boys didn't go away, scoring seven in the top of the second. Dan Bolio pitched four solid innings, keeping us in the game. It was tied 10-10 going into the bottom of the sixth. But Belmont Hill ended up taking the 12-10 victory. Um, Dylan Turner went four for five, put on a laser show with absolute rips. Um, back to Mass we went on Sunday for a doubleheader with Massasoit Community College. Connor McCarty started again, pitching a solid game. However, Massasoit's bats came alive in the bottom of the six, scoring six runs, which led to an 8-2 victory. Uh, loss. Our lacrosse program will be uh, discussed in great length by Greg Marchi of Hastings on Ice in New York. Uh, the lacrosse team also had a rough week. Uh, lacrosse team traveled to Connecticut this past Wednesday to play Avon Old Farms. Uh, the 18-6 result was not what we were looking for, but there were strong performances from Brian DePass and Pat Henley, as well as Brett Connell on defense. On Friday, the Wolverines visited Phillips Andover Academy to take on the Big Blue. Despite the 17-8 loss, Brian Huey and Brandon Donnelly played well going 4-1 and 1-2. One and one and Respectively, Greg Mackey had seven saves and Griffin Dory had three. Lacrosse is right back at it this week with four games in six days. And from Andover, Mass, we have Patrick McCullen representing the surest sign of the advent of spring at BA, rugby. Thursday, the Black Knight Rugby Club headed over to Norwich University to take on a much more experienced uh, Norwich Cadet team. Early on, the athleticism of BA squad proved to be too much for Norwich to handle, as after giving up an early score, BA stormed back with Phil Harper carrying three cadets across the line for a try, <laughs> uh, with myself converting the drop kick. Uh, the story of the game was experience versus athletic ability. Uh, with Norwich consistently exploiting our inexperience and us answering with our raw talent. Evander gave him the feet for two tries and the defense laid some vicious hits and responded to every Norwich challenge. As expected, Mr. Doobie showed that he is a true force of nature with his fearless defensive attack, anchoring the defense and allowing for newcomers to step up and show some major promise as rugby players. BA kept the game tight, but the lack of practice time and not having the chance to install, install a true game plan was just too much to overcome. Uh, we ultimately came up short 31-17, to 17, but the Black Knights earned the respect of Norwich's entire team and coaching staff, and each member of the BA RFC can now call themselves rugby players. Uh, for everyone on the team, just want to say great job, and uh, hopefully we'll get another game in sometime soon. <laughs> 